hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to explore on how to integrate woocommerce with quick books let's begin now the first thing you need to do is to sign in on your account using your credentials and if you are new here in quickbooks you might want to go in a short crash and finding the right plan that's for you you can start on the 15 dollars a month and you can have all these benefits and perks that you take you can take advantage you can also go to the essential which is 30 dollars but if you're planning to scale up you might want to go for the plus which is 45 dollars per month and you can also talk to their sales via the live chat or by using your mobile phone or landline and after that the next step is simply to log in to, in your woocommerce account if this is your first time in woocommerce you might want to click on the continue with google continue with apple or continue with github so to simplify the overall process and once you've done that we're all set now i'm using wordpress for my account because i'm using that from a website now log into your account and then if you're using wordpress you need to go through the uh, left side panel of your dashboard and simply you need to click on plugins and once you've reached the plugin section you would be able to see that there's an option for you to you would be able to see the integration for woocommerce in quickbooks right now if you have have that option to your wordpress account you might want to click on download so that it would integrate your quickbooks to your woocommerce but again before you can do that to make sure that you have a premium subscription plan and it's not available for the free plan here in wordpress all you're gonna do is again is click on download now if you happen to have a zapier account you are lucky because you, it'll make your life easier because from here we can connect quickbooks online plus woocommerce plus wordpress and to do that all you're gonna do is click on the orange button here connect my apps and then what will happen is we are going to create a zap and we can rename it from here if you are a fan of this channel we have a separate video uh an in-depth tutorial about this but the summary you need to create a trigger an event that an event that starts your zap and from here you can choose obviously woocommerce right and of course you can choose an event right here say for example a customer it triggers when a customer is created updated and deleted right now for the action you can choose obviously quickbooks right now again you can choose the event that you wanted say uh, it creates a new action using ai it creates a new bill optionally tied to a customer with a line item support or you can simply create bill item based you can create a credit memo create new customer and a lot more it's up to you right because that's the good thing about zapier because it'll uh, do the work for you now for example it creates a new payment optional link to an invoice and after that all you're gonna do is click on the continue button you can sit back relax and let zapier do the work for you now if you are more comfortable using your quickbooks you might want to go just go here in the app section right here and all you're gonna do is click on the get app now and from here you can have this key benefits that you can take advantage save time and money by automatically sharing data between woocommerce and quickbooks online and a lot more and once again all you're gonna do is click on the get app now and all of the platforms will integrate seamlessly to automate your workflows now if you're using your woocommerce account again it's the same thing all you're gonna do is go to the apps right here and click on add to store or add to cart but again it's free to install once you are here because on uh, the uh, free plan is available and the upgraded plan is what it separates from adding the store to adding the cart and again all you're gonna do is click on it it's very simple and if by any chance you are having problems connecting or integrating your woocommerce to your quickbooks account you might gonna need an assistance from the contacts section contact support section down here at the very bottom 
and these um support agents will be more than glad to assist you in any way help they can do that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video